Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. And I'm so excited because guess what? It's the holidays. Yay! So it's turkey time, it's Thanksgiving, and I really just wanted to give you guys this gift of my three part series to how to make the perfect, moist, well seasoned, presentable turkey. So if you have someone that's over that you need to impress, or if you just want to cook for the family, this is a great series for you to watch so that you can make the perfect turkey so the first thing we're going to start with is the brine so the brine is basically the base of a perfect turkey it adds in moisture into your turkey so when you have it in the oven baking it doesn't dry out all right so let's get started so the first thing you're going to need is a bucket so right now i have water already in this bucket so you basically need something big enough to fit a huge turkey. So whether it's a pot or a big bucket, whatever you can find, just go ahead and get something to put your turkey in. I found this at the dollar store. All right, so to my bucket of water, I'm gonna add in some chicken stock. So in my chicken stock, I also have some five spice. Um, pimento seeds or if you guys call them five spice whatever you call it I have that in there and I crush some of them and I put it in so I'm gonna add that to the bucket okay and then of course if you want a list of all my recipes and the ingredients is on MissGoodiesKitchen.com so in addition to the water and the stock we're gonna add sea salt which is very very important for a brine like salt is very very important you want to make sure you add that in in addition to that i'm going to add some bay leaves i'm going to toss that right in there no need to get fancy and then i'm going to add some orange peels which is something that's really important people always add oranges or orange peels to their brine okay I'm just going to add all of those in there, one by one. Okay. Oh, and almost forgot, you're going to need your brown sugar. This is how much brown sugar I use, I'm almost out of it. But you don't need a lot, it's okay. So the brown sugar, you're going to go ahead and you're going to add that in there as well. Let's see your mixture. All right. So after you have all of those things inside, you're gonna see the color change, and if you smell it, it smells really, really great. Now you're gonna add your turkey in there. You're gonna pick this baby up. Look how big this thing is, boy. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm giving a kid a back. All right. Put that in there like that. And then, if you have any space left, you're gonna fill it with water. So now I'm going to pour the excess water in there to the side. And you want to make sure you do this because if you put too much water in at first and then try to fit your turkey in, it's going to overflow in. All right, guys. So here you have it. This is how you make the perfect vine. As you can see, it's very, very simple. It takes no time. So just make sure you do it. Throw your turkey in the brine and then forget about it until the next day. Um, what I like to do is I like to get plastic wrap and... Of course, I can't put a cover in this because it's so big. I put plaster wrap over it and I make sure I have space for it in the refrigerator because it's such a large um, container or whatever you're gonna use, all right? Um, what I usually do is I'll use my brine two days before and then the day before I'll season my turkey, of course, and then the day of I'll cook it. Um, unless you're gonna do a jerk turkey, which there's a link for that as well. My jerk marinade, you can marinate it, season it, and then bake it. So it's really, really up to you. So here you have it. This is the first part to my three-part series on how to make the perfect turkey. Um, you guys know what to do. You like, you comment, you subscribe, tell a friend, and go visit MissGoodiesKitchen.com. I'll see you guys next time.